Hello, uh, this is a turn off of paper two. So we have a question from 2017, May, June, paper two, three, and the number is uh, one. So it has got uh, two forces with the magnitudes 5.0 Newton and 12 Newton act from the same point on an object. So you have to calculate the magnitude of the resultant force R uh, for the forces acting in opposite directions and uh, at right angles to each other. So here we have to consider the case in which the two forces are in opposite directions. So, so if this is a 12 Newton and if this is a 5 Newton, we have to find the resultant. So it should be exactly minus. So it should be 12 minus 5, 7 Newton. 7 Newton and it should be in the direction of the 12 Newton force. The next one is uh, at right angle, so we have to uh, show the force like this. So this is uh, the 12 Newton force, as it is said 12 Newton, and uh, this is the 5 Newton force, 5 Newton force. So the resultant will be somewhere here, somewhere here, somewhere like this. So it will be equal to the diagonal of the resultant formed by them. And this diagonal will be, if we do uh, calculations, it will be, uh, root of it will be root of uh, 5 square plus 12 square equal to 5 square is a 25 plus 12 square is 144 root and this will be equal to root of 169 and this is equal to 13 Newton so the answer here is 13 Newton no need to write this Newton here so no need to write this Newton here so this uh, 5, 12 and 13 is also called as uh, uh, Pythagorean triads, uh, same way as uh, it is 3, 4 and 5 because 3 square plus 4 square equal to 5 square. Similarly, 5 square plus 12 square equal to 13 square. So they are called as the Pythagorean triads. Now in number B, we have an object X rests on a smooth horizontal surface. Uh, two horizontal forces act on X as shown in the figure. So these are the two forces. One is acting in this direction and the other in this direction. So a force of 55 Newton is applied to the right here. A force of 18 Newton is applied at an angle of 115 degree to the direction of the 15 Newton force. And it's, uh, uh, it's useful to remember that these forces are not to scale. These forces are not to scale. Now, what we need to do is, by using the uh, phenomenon of uh, resolution of forces or scale diagram, we have to show that the magnitude of the resultant force acting on X is 65 Newton. So we have to show that the force is 65 Newton here. So for that, I have to recreate these forces. I have to recreate these forces. So it's seeing, uh, it, this thing will be easier if I use a scale. So I have a scale handy with me. So I have a scale handy with me. So first I will draw, I will draw the 55 Newton force, which is in horizontal direction, which is in horizontal direction. So, so, so the force, the force will be like this. Uh, <coughs> so let me draw 55. So it should be uh, around 5.5 centimeter. So that the things will be easier uh, for me. So from 10, from 10 i will draw like this so this is 15 and 5.5 so this is 55 newton force and it is acting in this direction it is acting in this direction in order to draw this 18 newton force i need a protractor a protractor so this is the 18 newton force here newton force I need a protractor so that I can draw these angles. So here, I need to draw this uh, 115 degree angle. So what I do is, I'll take this thing as the zero point, this thing as the uh, zero point here, somewhere here, like this. And from here, I need to draw. So this is 90, 100, 110 and 115 here. 115 here so I will draw 115 degree angle 115 degree angle with the 
with this force which is uh, which is which is which is the fifth newton force and here it should be 18 newton 18 newton means that it should be only 1.8 1.8 centimeter so from here i draw from here it is 1 centimeter 1 then 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 it is 0.8 so this is the vector here and this angle is this angle is 115 degree 15 degree so i drew the forces like this <coughs> first i drew the 50 newton force then i drew this 18 newton force uh, from the tip of that 55 newton force so i have drawn the forces one after the another now the resultant will be given by will be given by the third third side of this triangle so this will be the resultant which i am drawing so this will be the value of the resultant this will give the resultant so let me draw the arrow here initial point final point so its direction should be like this now what it says is <coughs> so let me calculate uh, the length of this force so its length is from 8 to 14.6 so this is, starts from 8 and this is 14.6 so it is uh, uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 6.6 centimeter so resultant is equal to resultant is equal to 6.6 centimeter and that's equal to 66 newton newton so approximately it is 65 newton here so the <coughs> the resultant force is approximately 65 newton so no problem in that plus minus one is accepted now we need to find uh, the angle between the resultant force and the 55 newton force so this is the 55 newton force this is the 18 newton force we have to find this angle so the angle comes to be if i use the protractor uh, once again the value of this uh, angle will be will be somewhat like this so the value of this angle will be around uh, 15 degree so it is angle equal to 15 degrees now <coughs> what it says is a third force of 80 newton is now applied to x in the opposite direction to the resultant force in b so this is the resultant and we now apply a force of 80 newton opposite to this direction so 80 newton here so if this is 65 and if this is 80 80 over here we'll have the force resultant will be equal to 80 newton minus 65 newton this is equal to 15 newton newton in this direction and the resultant acceleration will be equal to this force resultant by mass that's equal to 15 by 2.7 and this will this will come out to be equal to so let me use the uh, calculator here so the value of this force will come out to be equal to 15 divided 2.7 equal to 5.55 so it's equal to 5.55 meter per second square so it's equal to 5.55 so this is the solution to the questions of <coughs> this year